Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. Coming at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch. And we have a lot of great cards to go over today. Cards that are getting bought that nobody's talking about. Going back on past buyouts. And a lot of meta shifts as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Smash that like button if you do. Uh, I think the last Mark Watch only got like 40 likes. So if you guys get me a 200 likes on this video, that would be great. I uploaded a five cards out of your trade binder on Friday. So if you have not checked that out, go check that out. It's five cards to pick up and I tell you why. And it's a little different from my market watches, but you guys will really like it. Also subscribe if you've not already. We just hit 4,800 subscribers. So that's awesome. Also, thank you to my YouTube channel members. I gave you guys a channel member video that last week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, check out my sponsors. Like if you find anything on teacher players, use my link down in the description below. Tap your cards, 5% off. Use code Saki. They got deck boxes, hats, mats, and a lot more cool Yu-Gi-Oh! merch. And use my WhatNot affiliate link. You can buy a bunch of stuff there and you get $15 off. If you register using my affiliate link from Yu-Gi-Oh to other card games to other stuff as well, like shoes, all that. It's a very nice website. Go check it out. Uh, Dragon Master Knight secret rares here. These are five to six dollars for the light plays. However, when you scroll a little higher, you see these near mints. You see something wrong. Uh, 20, 32, 30, 33. Uh, and this is for first edition. So this card is soaring way, way, way high. Uh, a lot of collectors like this artwork, and it, it does have the secret rare. And I think at the end of the day, yes, there is collectability with, like, older, better versions that are more rare. But a lot of players at the end of the day, they love these legendary collections, and they love their nice cards looking at, like, a secret rare. Personally, this is my favorite way of looking at Dragon Master Knight. I mean, I know we have other versions, but the secret just fits it so well. And it really, really pops. Like, when I think of old school cool Yu-Yo cards, I, I kind of think of this, even though it's not exactly old school this printing or anything, but it just it looks fantastic. But if you guys like this artwork like me, and you're considering having one, I mean, they basically tr over triple really, really quickly here. Now, who's to say this is going to sell at $30? Uh, I don't know, but I mean, I, I would believe if a collector bought it at $30. Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. This card that's needed a reprint for about five years, I want to say almost, since I believe it was the 2019 Tin product. So about five years almost. Uh, we used to have our tins in the summer back in my day. But yeah, ten dollars here, ten eleven. It's funny because this was a bulk card slash hollow. So this really was the card to slowly rise up. Uh, a lot of people all still don't know this card's worth money either, and I don't even blame them. Uh, card looks great. I think it desperately needs a reprint. If we're gonna put some awful blue eyes card in rarity collection, I was thinking it should be this. Honestly, uh, it would look really really nice. But again, I wouldn't be a fan of just putting like dark magician and blue eyes into rarity collection because it's just a waste. In in my personal opinion, uh, could it help sell a product a little bit? Sure, but like. You know, the DM era has enough. Like, the, But this card does need a reprint in some way, shape, or form. Uh, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. These are bought out. 28 for an unlimited. 40 bucks for a couple here. 50 And then it goes up to 70 which nobody's going to pay 70 Or at least I hope nobody pays 70 for it. Going up to 120 I don't even have filters on. This is just what's up here. Uh, this card was a lot of money. I do remember. And then the ban list happened. And then Cosmo just, you know, plummeted down. Farm Girls are seven. First said it's about seven and a half, going up to thirteen dollars here. If you actually go light play near mint, uh, there's not too many listings. Just nine here it goes up to forty bucks. But yeah, Cosmo Girl it has no other reprints besides a premium gold rare. So a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this. It's just there hasn't been a lot of Cosmo love uh, lately. But I am actually shocked that this card has been under the six seven dollars because people did try it recently with the Fire Kings. Uh, since Italy came to three, I was surprised not to see any Cosmos, but maybe they just got power crept to that bad. I mean, it's been years. Eclipsers, 12s, goes up to about $13, $14 here. So a little movement on this guy, but not as much, but the listings are low as well. And then Cosmos Strawman, also known as Cosmos Strawman looking ass. And the reason I say that is because, no joke, I'm a scrawny boy. So, uh, we were having a little fun one day with some of my friends, and we we're Yu Gi Oh came up to it, and we were like using it to insult us. And they're like, Man, I don't know what you're talking about, Cosmo Straw Man looking ass. And ever since then, 
uh this is one of my nicknames is cosmo straw man like it's fun i i don't even have like this love or affection on cosmos but technically this is part of you of my Yu-Gi-Oh history and it's really really funny on why uh six hours but i am hitting the gym so y'all can't diss me okay uh i am hitting the gym three about eights going up to 12s here i mean it is going up quite a bit if you want to get these like cheaper light plays for like basically three to four they're going to come in differently but Hey, it's better than, you know, getting them once at a time to they're like eight, nine dollars. So card demise here, secret rares. These are also going up. I know a lot of people are trying to use this right now in certain decks. Uh four, five for first editions. Going up to about eight, nine dollars here. Now I actually want to go first in here. Fifteen, yeah. Six going up to ten. One thing I do want to note about card demise. I actually told people to grab this. The issue is we have so many draw cards that are very unique or have this odd drawback that will fit perfectly in a certain strategy, but it's very niche. So that's why I always tell people it's good to have these kinds of draw cards. I talk about card demise at two or three dollars multiple times um but not too much this year or i'm gonna say 2023 i think in 2023 i only went over this card like twice maybe max but this was definitely a card no no i went over to 2023 this was a five cards out of your trade binder either in 2023 so yes yeah, it's going up six dollars is still not bad age of overlord sp little knight let's see how you're crackalacking today 103 going up to about 110 115 okay so the card is slowly but surely going up. Um, I ended up getting these, uh, more of these around a hundred, just because I was like, you know, if I I want a little bit of uh, my trade binder looking hot, and you know what, it's going up, so I'm happy. Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Now remember, this card is getting reprinted in the tins, but I think a lot of people are realizing that a, it's not going to be that accessible if it's a 400 card set. And Konami does this, they did this with access code, and this is something I really want to talk about, is Konami will take a card that needs a reprint badly, and they will put it in a set that they can short print it, right? For example, yes, we have the OG Attorney code, access code talker from, I believe, like, you know, 2019, no, 2020, right? But that, and then we got a gold rare. Now, not only was the gold rare looking bad, but again, you could buy a whole display and not get a single copy, and these used to be about... 40 to 50 dollars in fact it used to be even 60 and then they gave us out uh, to us in crystal revenge and this card was well it's 25 now but it was you know 40 bucks we go like a year and we see it like the 35s to 40s but then we see at 50 here uh this card was about you know some money you know 50s settling around 35 40 and then going up konami does not like to reprint cards like little knight and these generic extract monsters uh, nicely if they were like a secret or originally and with little knight they're gonna do the same thing people are gonna think they get they're we're getting a reprint uh the og might go is gonna go down but it's not gonna be cheap it's not gonna be what we call budget uh the og might go down to 60 70 and then the reprint's like 45 bucks because people can't i don't even know why i said bucks that way 45 dollars because people are like oh 400 set i bought a case i didn't get one little knight and it's gonna suck it really is gonna suck and we still have like six months until then. So, you know, fun. Wanted. Now, $42. Look, if you don't have these, just go ahead, stop what you're doing, and grab a couple copies because this is not the card they're hitting. Absolutely not. Not only is it Snake Eye the real big problem, like, Snake Eyes without the Wanted engine is still amazing, right? It's not really a hit. And Konami has a lot more of this set they want to push, right? We're getting the new Illusionist one that is a searchable walking anti-spell. But it's not an anti-spell. It's also an anti-trap because your opponent cannot activate spells or traps like before setting them. It's so stupid, right? If you guys don't know, I may, I talked about it on, on a stream once. Uh, and when we get that monster, it's going to be great. That's why I don't care about the anti-spell hit, because I'm going to be dealing with a card that is just infinitely better than anti-spell, because why set anti-spell when you could automatically put it on the field, protect it, search it, and it works for traps too. So, oh, you have Imperm? No. You have Evenly Match? No, right? Why am I saying bye-bye to all your spells? Well, I can say bye-bye to all your traps too. It's really annoying, honestly, that Konami's printing a card like that. But that's a reason I don't care about them hitting Anti-Spell. Because I have to deal with, like, the big brother later on anyway, right? But yeah, they're not going to hit this card. They're, if they hit something, it's going to be Fire-related or, you know, Snake-Eyes-related. And 
I have a feeling Konami's going to want to make money and not give it too hard of a hit. But yeah, 42 here. Infernal Flame Banshee, this card's going up slowly. 42, 55, 58. Remember, this is using action combos. And there is combos with Snake Eyes with this. And they may gravitate towards that depending on the ban list. So, 19 listings. People are getting ready. Mischief of the Yokai now. This card got bought out um earlier, like last month. And I want to go over it after a month has passed. Because people were looking at it for level up manipulation. Like, you know, Cash Jira, uh, not to go into the extra deck. Then they were looking at, um you know, Sprite, all that. Right now, they're about $7.50, $7.00, bucks. Uh, the graph's not going to really display it well, but these were a lot higher. Yeah, they were a lot higher, but now, you know, they've dropped out. People are still buying them, but, you know, seven, eight bucks. If you've wanted this card and you're like, wow, you know, I'll get it if it's meta, do not be like that where you're waiting forever to grab this card. Get it while it's low before people are talking about it. And if you don't like the card, and you can move it when it gets bought out for like the ninth time, because this has been a buy low, sell high card, but it's only people remember it. Because it's a very rare buy low sell high card. Like I can't really put it in terms of other in the league of other cards that are buy low sell high. Threatening roar, people are buying this because of Tempai. Uh you have like none. Yeah, you have like no listings here. Uh the DTs are money. I actually have DTs lying around somewhere. Uh these are Oh, well, you got one for nine dollars. That's not worth it. Uh and then you have Let's look at the champion pack supers here. 95s, 120s. Ah, oh, man, that's awful. Uh, granted, these cards were never too cheap. Uh, yeah, they were never too cheap, but they were like 70, 80, you know. Miss Kaleosaurus, people think this could come to two. Well, your gold rares are a dollar here. And if Misk does go to one other card that's going to go up that people aren't looking at is Fossil Dig. These are now $9. Yeah, about nines go up to tens. If Mist comes back, you're looking at about $25, $30 quarter century. People are going to pick up all these dinos again. And I think this is a good uh, quarter century to pick up just in general. Uh, another card I want to actually go over that's a good quarter century to pick up is Lone Fire at the $9 to $10 range. I mean, this is a card that people are going to want to grab to also play older format like Tengu, even Edison with Quick Draw Dandy. And this card is just great for plants in general. It's just that plants need a way to like like some type of like generic support to just tutor this out that's the problem with lone fire is that in a lot of decks the combos are so long right because you have to go through channel after channel just to get a little card advantage that's why i don't really like plant playing plants nowadays but lone fire just doesn't do what it needs to per se even though they still play it but it, if they had like some type of way where it says, hey, summon a lone fire from the deck, it'd be really great. Ground Xeno, 30 bucks here still. It needs a reprint, but it's going to be a little while. I don't think this is in the tins, but I uh, I believe either. So, you know, this is going to be a card where people are going to buy wild survivors just for it. Xeno Meteorus, 41. Okay. Low list, 22. Speedway Terratop Ultis, these are. About 74, 80 bucks. I mean, people are looking forward to this card being at three because I believe they moved it to two, something like that. I mean, again, I don't know why they waited so long. When we got Baron and I think it was like Legend Duel Synchro Storm, that's what it was called, uh, because there was a lot of synchros in it. Uh, but we had Speedroid support up the wazoo. Speedroid wasn't going to do much at all, even with Terra Top at three. I'm sorry, even with that new support. But if we had to add three with the new support, people would have tried it at least. At least I would start seeing Speedroid, you know, more. I saw a little bit of Speedroid at Locals because a lot of people love this deck. It's a fan favorite. But this, I don't think Konami needs to wait to take off cards from the ban list that if they make a whole wave of support, doesn't do a dent. Like, that, I don't, I've never liked how Konami's handled new support for stuff that has something on the ban list. But my opinion. Supers are sixes, eights, 19 listings. It's going up slowly. Threatening roar. Oh, I had the super rares over here. I didn't even know. Okay. Guilty gear free. The magical still. I also have you hit the like button yet? I hope you've had. You better hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hopefully today's day I earned your subscription. Uh 28% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So hopefully today's day I earned your subscription. 
But CR Guilties are about 23. I remember this card being 50 to 60, with the Ultras being about four bucks, three, four, fives. Okay. Uh, so the Ultras still with more money, but the CRs have basically settled out to back to what they were. This card did get bought out when we had uh, cards like, you know, Baron and... Uh, they put something else on the field that was a warrior, but this is a super poly target where if where it's it's just great. It's just fantastic as a super poly target. Uh if it is in the format, and Baron's always in the format, so we're always like one card off like against like some type of infernoble deck. Uh this is amazing. Like this is the super poly target for infernoble. And I think that if you guys are do not have your CRs. I highly doubt this is a rarity collection two pick. But if you want to wait a little bit, I mean, we're on, it's April 8th. We're getting it on the 22nd. I think we had the full list probably sometime this month. Uh, hopefully, probably near the end of April. But this is not a bad card to pick up in general. So definitely something I would consider. I would get that rather than the expensive ultra. But if you just want the ultra at three instead of paying the tens for it, I mean, it's it's okay, I guess. Uh, Arcana here before it goes up to six. Arcana Triumph Joker CRs are also low, twenty to twenty-five here. Uh, again, less about twenty listings here goes up to really quickly. I oh, and if we put verified, put in your mint, it's fourteen listings. Why it's so low? I can't really tell you. Uh, Joker's Knight straight here is about nine ten dollars for the ultras, but the CRs are 12s i don't know why people are buying the ultras at 10s when the crs are 12s spend two or three extra dollars please i don't know what to tell you but if you guys have wanted this cr for a while i mean it's a good it's a nice cute little cr to get if people are spending 10 on the ultras they'll spend 20s on the crs with that actually i want to look at the with the sales history yeah, the sales history is not terrible in march it's not bad i mean for a cr that practically does nothing besides sin a binder uh, and, and that's what it is. This is what these Joker Knight CRs are. I mean, the, the are these, you know, um, Knight cards, right? Knight slash Joker cards are. They all they are sitting in a binder. That's all they're doing. The only card that has any applicability to the format is Joker's Knight. That is it. Uh, because it shuffles back in the deck. And then um, it's technically a free special extender of a level 5 warrior, right? So, and then it can shuffle a light warrior monster in the graveyard. So, it, it, and to add this to your hand, 8k, just, you just get a free level 5 extender. 15 bucks, uh, that's about it. So, for your CRs. It's not terrible. I would rather get this card, personally. It looks very cool, I will say that. Someone who does own CRs. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys want to smash that like button, subscribe. Let me know what cards I'm going over in the next Mark Watch in the comment section below. I love it when you guys give me cards to go over. Makes me really happy. I always miss buyouts sometimes, so I love it when you guys tell me. You guys have great cards to go over. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is hopefully the balance, because I don't know where this is. Peace.